在这儿了。All right, happy Friday night, happy Friday night. I am Chef Sassone here, we are live at our mixology night. Today we're gonna make two awesome cocktails, we're gonna make it fig old fashioned, and we're gonna make a, a Jack Rose. I'll tell you more about these cocktails. If you're following along, we did post the recipes, so you should have all the recipes uh, in the link. If not, are we put, uh, posting them in the link, guys? Yeah, in the, link right in the chat as well? In the chat, yeah, cool. I um, also want to say hello to my peeps in, uh, on Instagram. Join the channel, Go, we're, we're doing this live on YouTube. Uh, so you get one shot, but here, if you're live, to all my subscribers, thank you for following, thank you for liking our videos. We, I just posted a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, I did a Nají de Gallina video last week. Uh, I just posted the cocadas, a dish from uh, Panama. We're still celebrating Latin, Latin Heritage Month, Latin X Month. Uh, so I'm hitting you up all these Latin dishes, all this good stuff. Um, and we're gonna do some Latin music as well today. Uh, my crew, I wanna say hello to my crew. In the ones and twos, we have Mandy behind the scenes. We have Miguel, you don't see them, but they're there. They talk to me. One of the few people I see live. And of course, I'm gonna introduce the one and only DJ in a second. Uh, but just wanna make sure uh, a little uh, house cleaning here. Use the chat. The chat box is great. We're doing this live, so put a little comment. If you join in, just say hello. If you're from across the world or somewhere else, we're here in Sassone uh, Studios here in uh, sunny South Florida. We just uh, survived the hurricane. Uh, it wasn't that bad over here for us, but uh, our prayers and thoughts to all our peeps out in the west coast of Florida, Fort Myers, Tampa, uh, they had a rough and I've, I've lived through Hurricane Andrew and several other hurricanes as a Florida native. Um, it's not fun going through some of these, so sorry to hear, guys. Uh, we'll keep you in our thoughts. Uh, but we're going to keep on the party, keep on the spirits up, and literally the spirits. Uh, but without further ado, let me introduce to you the one and only DJ Rio. Come on, DJ, hit him up. It's me, Mario. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a happy Friday. Again, it's me, DJ Real on the ones and two. Um, we're gonna have a lot of music today. Mostly it's, it's Hispanic Heritage Month. So I'm from Nicaragua, George from Peru. Yep. So we wanna shout out to our, our Peruvians and Nicaraguan, Cuban, Dominican, Puerto Rican. I could go on, but it, we have a show to shoot, do. So um, I'm gonna hit you with some salsa, uh, reggae, reggaeton. Dembo, so we're gonna have fun tonight. So let's do it. It's me, it's me, Mario.
Mario Está sazonando. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's true. My fellow Nicaragüense, Latino over here, and from Peru. Look at that, representing our Latino roots. 
And we're both from Miami, so we have a... Yeah, we have all the diversity. I mean, if, if I mention all my friends, we have the whole United Nations and <laughs> all the Latino parties. And, and you know, it's part of our flavor, part of our culture growing up here in South Florida. Uh, is this polyglot of cultures uh, in our Latino peeps over here. Um, how was your weekend? How was your week? Haven't seen so you in far, a minute. good. I know, right? Um, can't complain. I mean, the week has been busy. Yep. Busy, busy, busy. I mean, we're going into October. Um, Halloween is coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. So you must be getting booked. booked oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this is my busy season. So yeah, yeah. So everybody, if you want to um, book me, <laughs> uh, start doing it right now because <laughs> you might not get um, Mario. So you may get Luigi. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a, a shameless plug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna drop yeah, li- yeah, your we're link. We're gonna here. drop my link and my, my, my Instagram page. So please follow us, follow me. Uh, we do this once a month. So mm-hmm. this is for, for you guys to have fun, you know. I know we have kids, so yeah. I like to bring the party to you guys streaming it free, you know? Yeah, because if you th- but this is not a kid house, party. Yeah. <laughs> no kids. Hopefully the kids are uh, watching a movie right now and you guys are chilling and hanging out. Unless the kids are like their parents you know, and like to have fun. You know what? <laughs> you didn't bring a kid, so let me give you a shot. That's true. Let me give you a little <laughs> shot. Let's get the party started. If you're at home, uh, this is a good time to take a shot with me, with us. We're going to make a cocktail in a second. So if you are making this with me, uh, time to get your mise en place. Get all your ingredients. And I'm going to go over that in a second. Uh, first, I want to take a shot. My DJ, here we go, homie. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. This is a little rye. A little rye? Oh. All right. I'll make it all right. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Latino. We're going to call this <clears throat> Latino Friday uh, Mixology Night. Yeah, yeah. We Because we. we're representing the uh, peeps. And it's also the beginning of fall. It's fall, y'all. Uh, fall <laughs> is one of my favorite seasons. It means it's the end of summer. No more, uh, no more sweating down here in Florida. It's... It's Fall hot. Back. Oh, yeah. August is hot. August is brutal here. So I think today was our first kind of cool day, right? Didn't you guys feel that? It was like 70 degrees. It was nice and cool. Uh, for us, that's fall. So it, it was nice. It was nice feeling that. Time to get the, time to get the Timberlands out, the Uggs. The, the Uggs. Uh, the Uggs, the sweaters. <laughs> uh, we can survive hurricanes, but we cannot survive the cold here. So... No, not at all. Our skin is a little di- different. All right, so let's let's get started, guys. I'm gonna put up the the ingredients up up on the screen so you guys can uh, start getting all your stuff together. All right, we're gonna start making the Jack Rose. All right, so we're gonna start. I'm just gonna go over the ingredients. We're gonna use uh, Apple Jack, which is uh, a spirit uh, brandy infused with uh, roasted apples. You can use any kind of apple brandy. This is really good. Look at that. I don't have a sponsor to uh, give a plug to, so anybody wants to sign up for the next one, we are taking a, a looks at, at any company that wants. Wait, this, so, is called, this drink is called Jack Rose? Jack Rose. This, that reminds me of Titanic. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, we're getting romantic. <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah, this is a drink for Jack and Rose, and this is a provision drink. <laughs> So this is, uh, so the, the apple jack is that. We're going to do, do a, an ounce of lemon juice. I already squeezed mine because it makes my life easy. We're going to do an ounce of that. We're going to do some grenadine. Give it a little nice, beautiful rose color, uh, nice extra sweetness. So this is, this is your sweet component. Uh, we're going to do two dashes of bitters. Any kind of bitters work. I like the Creole bitters. They have a lot more flavor, a lot more soul. So this is really good. But you can use any one. Like your, if you have your basic Angostura. Goes well for everything. Uh, some ice, of course, we're making a drink. And for garnish, we're gonna make a lemon twist. This is a lemon twist. This is that little curly piggy tail thing that you see in your martinis when you used to go out. Remember those days, guys? Yeah, your little stilettos in that black dress and the martini with this thing, right? So that's a twist. All right, so let, let, let's get cracking. So we're gonna get a shaker and we're gonna do a coupe glass. You can do this in a martini glass or you can do these nice, uh, sexy little coupe glasses, which are traditional for this drink. This is, uh, like I was saying, this is a provision uh, uh, era cocktail back from 100 years ago. It got very popular back in the day uh, by Ernest Hemingway. He wrote this in, in one of his books. I can't remember, something about the sun, something. Uh, <laughs> but Hemingway was always drinking. He was? You know that? Yeah, he was always, he was always hanging out in Cuba, in Key West, and he was, he, I think he's known for like popularizing a lot of the daiquiri, 
uh, Jack Rose. Well, his name sounds like a drink. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he sounds he's 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 Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> so let's let's get started with with the cocktail. We're gonna in the shaker. We're gonna start by putting in some ice. Where's my little thingy? About a scoop. I'm gonna double the recipe because I'm gonna make some for 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 Mario and for myself. But the recipe I gave you is for one cocktail. Anybody that's watching on Instagram, what are you doing on Instagram? Get on the channel, get on YouTube. Sasone channel, go, go, to, go to YouTube and check out Sasone, that's our channel. And that's where we do this live. Anybody that's subscribed, you get a notification of any of our live events. Uh, so if you're not subscribed, you're missing out on a bunch of like live events, a lot of live cooking classes as well. Uh, I just did a live one last week, so. If, you're in the, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. And any questions in chat, hello, you can pop up. Joe, you can, we have Joe also in the house, Joe and Patty. I have two special guests that I'm gonna introduce <laughs> later on. Yeah, if you see anybody, Joe, if, uh, you could feel free to uh, th throw in. And same with you, uh, Miguel. Anybody, anybody from the chat, put them in the mix. All right, so Jack Rose. We're gonna start with some ice. We're gonna put our apple brandy in here. This is a shaken drink. So get your shaker. We're gonna do two ounces. We're doubling this, so I'm gonna do four ounces in here. If you do not have apple brandy, well, you know what? Use any kind of brandy. <laughs> She's a fine girl. That All right? brandy. That brandy. <laughs> so four ounces of, uh, of the apple, uh, apple jack. Have you ever had the apple jack? No, actually, it'll be, this will be my first time having that. All right, jack. well, let me give you another shot. I know oh, we said we weren't gonna have shots, but I'm gonna give you a little taste. Cool. Just a little tasty. So what, what is that? Is that apple? Yeah, so it's apple apple spirit. Mm, okay. I'm, I'm going to give you a little sip. If anybody that's never had this, I'm going to give you a little... Uh, oh, it's it's good. It's it's sweet, it's sweet, right? Yeah. It's not strong. It's like... Yeah, it's, it's not that strong. Mm -hmm. but it's dangerous. That's, that's, a, that's, that's what yeah. you call a panty dropper. You don't <laughs> really feel it. Yeah. But you get the subtle notes of spices, uh, roasted apple in there. Uh, really, really nice spirit. So next we're gonna add in here the two ounces of uh, lemon juice. Lemon. This is something I always argue with my mom growing up. Lemon, you know, when, when you speak Spanish, when you say lemon, immediately it's limes, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> but no, this is the yellow lemon. So lemon juice, uh, we're gonna do one ounce of grenadine. That's gonna give a beautiful color. Nice sweetness is gonna kinda counter that acidity from the lemon juice. And a couple dashes of this bitter. Creole bitters. Okay. So the rose, it's like some type of syrup? Yeah, th this is a grenadine. So it's oh, okay. a, I don't know what they flavor it with, but this is what they put in a Shirley Temple. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's a little pink uh, cocktail. Got it. All right, we're gonna shake this up. Give me a little shaky, shaky music action. Shaky, shaky. Yeah, let's shake this things up a bit. Got it. We're 15, 20 seconds. So now we're gonna pour that out. Yeah, let me put that one up here so you guys can see that. That beautiful color you get. And then for garnish, like I said, we're gonna do our little lemon twist. I like to kind of rub the rim with the skin so you can get that lemon oil touching the, the rim right there. And then you can put that right there. And I'm gonna show you how to do one of these while we're here. So to get the lemon uh, twist, just cut a little uh, slice of uh, lemon in there. And then just kind of cut around. 
could have re removed the actual lemon part, like so. Boom. Then you get this little nice ring, right? Then you get that ring, you're gonna cut one piece of the ring and then just coil it up, coil it up like a little pigtail. And then you wanna go right over the cocktail and you wanna express the oils from the skin. See that? Express. Express, express yourself. Your, express yourself, yeah, <laughs> there you go. And if you want, you could also put a little sliver of apple. I'm gonna use a nice little green apple in there. A little piece of apple in there look cute. Lemon, apple. That's nice. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's what you call a little sexy cocktail. This is a great uh, way to start the night and a great way to end the night as well. Yeah. So that's right. that drink you tell you want that Jack Rose? No, camera one. Yes, Jack Rose right here. Nice. There you go, Mario. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, guys. Cheers. You're drinking at home. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday, Mario. Very good. It's your first Jack Rose. Yeah. Hopefully, Jack uh, Rose has some space for Jack. There was space in that in that oh, in yeah. that um, door. If people. This is a good stuff right here. All right, Mario. I think let's take it away. All right, cool. So let's go. Hold on. Muchas novias, hoy tengo a una, mañana a otra, ey, pero no hay boda, Titi me preguntó si tengo muchas novias, muchas novias, hoy tengo a una, mañana a otra, me la voy a llevar la toa pa' un VIP, un VIP, ey, saluden a Titi, vamos a tirarle un selfie, say cheese, ey, que sonrían las que ya les metí, un VIP, un VIP, ey, saluden a Titi. Me gustan mucho las Gabriela, las Patricia, las Nicole, la Sofía. Mi primera novia en Kinder María y mi primer amor se llamaba Talía. Tengo una colombiana que me escribe todos los días y una mexicana que ni yo sabía. Otra en San Antonio que me quiere todavía y las de PR que todas son mías. Una dominicana que juega bombón, juega, juega bombón. La de Barcelona que vino en avión y dice que mi bicho está cabrón. Yo dejo que jueguen con mi corazón. Quisiera mudarme con todo. It's me, Mario.
Oh, yo, this is nice. I'm gonna, I have a request for later. Una sopa de caracol. Oh, I was gonna play it now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that, I know that was coming. I know it was coming. <laughs> if you join this Latino mix, say what's up in the chat. I know the chat is hot. The block is hot tonight. Uh, a couple shout outs. Throw me some names out there. I know. Uh, Jeremy, yeah, Jerry, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, sure, thank man. you. Yeah, you yeah. got the got Super it. Mario. Yeah, it's Mario, you know? It's, you know? Mario. You got the Seltzer, what's up, David, Brenda? Thank you, everybody. You guys. Appreciate it. High fives. I know we got Nicaragua. I saw someone from, from Spain, from, from the Basque region. What else we got? Uh, Tayshawn, we're really excited to learn some new cocktails. Tayshawn, yeah, we're going we're gonna to make some drinks tonight. Glad you're excited for new cocktails. Give me two, two good recipes here. We got Freddy out there. Freddy, Freddy La Rosa. Freddy what's up? Rosa. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? On Instagram, what, what the heck are you doing on Instagram? Jump on the channel. Subscribe. Come in the channel. You're getting the real deal here. You're getting the real deal here. Uh, we're going to make the cocktail soon. Uh, you ready for another shot? What's, what's, your, what's your feeling? I'm, I'm ready for whatever. Yeah? Yeah. So, a little fun fact. It's, it's Friday. <laughs> you ready for wherever? It's Friday. Whatever. I like that answer. I don't even know where my shot glass is. I got are. Jack and Rose, Rose and Jack. <laughs> I'll get us a little something here. So, fun little fun fact. Mario and I are, are part of the same fantasy football league. We have a, a 12 team uh, league that we, that we run. This is our fourth week going on. Um, and we're kicking ass. You're doing good. You're 2 and 1. I'm 3 and 0. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but we're just here bragging about our, 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 our little. Uh, Football league. Anybody uh, does fantasy football? I know there's a bunch of guys out there that does fantasy football. Who's who? Are you starting tonight? Yeah. So I lost. A Mon Saint Saint Ra. Yeah. I got the 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 two. I got. I mean, I got Mahomes and Kelsey, so I'm good. Yeah, you got Mahomes and Kelsey, so that's yeah. a dangerous mix. Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Cheers, homie. Cheers. Happy Friday. Cheers, Happy everybody. Friday. To Happy Friday. I'm glad I can get my dance on again. I had broken a toe. Uh, fun fact, the last uh, Mixology Night, I had a broken toe. I didn't even know that till the next day. Uh, but the pain kind of guided me to the doctor. But I'm back. Look at me. I'm dancing again. Um, anybody making the cocktail? Get your stuff ready. Get your mise en place on. So for the next cocktail, we're going to be uh, stirring this one. It's not shaken. It's stirred. So. What you need, you can use the shaker glass, it works, or you can use one of these uh, fancy cocktail uh, glasses that works uh, perfectly as well. You're gonna need one of these little spoons. You're gonna need a strainer. This is that little teddy bear looking thing. Uh, get that ready. And then I'm gonna post the recipe really quick so I can run down the ingredients and then before we get started together, okay? Where's the recipe? Hook me up, hook me up with the recipe, boom. No recipe, but I'll, I'll tell you anyways. We're gonna do a little fig. There we go. You need one fig. So I, I chose this recipe because these are the flavors of uh, the beginning of fall. Before we get uh, bombarded with all this pumpkin spice stuff. Uh, fig is uh, the end of summer, beginning of fall kind of ingredient. So you, if you don't have fresh, you can also use the dry ones, but the fresh is a lot better for this recipe. We're gonna need some uh, Bourbon or rye, it's an old fashioned. I love using rye for uh, a lot of my cocktails, for my old fashions in Manhattan. So this is a double rye from High West. Phenomenal stuff. Uh, also, they're not sponsored, but I'm still giving them a plug. All right, so High West, they're in Utah. Great uh, bourbon. Uh, this month I started uh, uh, 30 days of bourbon and I, I got bourboned out. I got bourboned out. Uh, I started doing, we're supposed to do 30 bourbons in 30 days. By day five, I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Uh, but this is a good recommendation to all my bourbon lovers. Uh, people were asking, How could, what's up with the bourbon? You're not drinking any more bourbon? Uh, I'm doing bourbon and rye. I, I mix it up. So do your rye. That's good. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of honey. Honey is going to be our sweetener for this recipe. So instead of a, a sugar cube or a little simple syrup, uh, honey is going to be our, our natural ingredient. I mean, I don't want to give you the... The Publix logo, because they're not my sponsor, but here. So, honey, if you want to be a sponsor, this is your time, guys. Just chime in. Uh, we're going to do some bitters again. Uh, I could use the Creole bitters. I'm going to use my regular Angostura bitters for this one. Just kind of focus on the, the flavors of the fig and the honey, and not really go too, too crazy with all the other stuff. And we're also going to do a little splash of water. 
when making cocktails, make sure you use purified water. I'm using Essentia, another shameless plug here. <laughs> With no money. Um, and ice, we're making a cocktail, guys. And then for garnish, we're gonna do a little or uh, uh, orange peel or a, and a slice of uh, fig. Okay, so you got that? You like figs, Mario? You don't eat figs. You no. look like you don't eat figs. I don't even know what figs is. <laughs> <You> okay. <laughs> so this, this is a teacher moment right now. I, 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 it's all right, but. So, so a fig, it's a, it's, it's a I, I met, I, I, I work for, for a chef, uh, his name's Todd English. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he once told me that this is the sexiest fruit on the planet. And I won't tell you what else he told me about that. But okay. open one up and eat it and you'll see why. Um, it's delicious and the way it's pollinated, this is like a flower that goes in. There's a wasp that goes inside and then this wasp gets swallowed up by the flower and dies in there. So as it breaks down and, and, and it blooms, there's an actual a, a dead a wasp that helped create this. Odd, oh, really? odd fact, but I'm not making it up. Google it, all right? Uh, any chat? Shout out to my wife. Thank you. Shout out to my wife. <laughs> me. Shout out to my wife. Her, her birthday was a couple days ago. Happy birthday, Mandy. Happy birthday, Mandy. Let's give you a shout, too. What's up, Jeremy? Yeah. All right, yeah, throw in your bourbons in there, because I'm, uh, I'm always looking for different ones. Wilcock, I've heard of it. I haven't had. What was the other one? First Call. First Call? I, I haven't had that. I just got a new one, too, called Quarter Horse. It was on sale. It looks good. Uh, this is for uh, Miguel and for Mandy. Pass that, pass that down over here. A little birthday shot. Birthday shot to my piece back there. So... So yeah, the, so the fig. So this is how we this is how we do it. This is how we do it. All right. So we're gonna get a fig, depending on the size. This is a pretty uh, pretty big fig. So you can just do half of that. If it's a small fig, then use the whole thing. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna cut it into quarters. We're not gonna muddle this. I, I did this. I tried this doing muddled mud, uh, last time, and it was a little too muddled. So I didn't really like the, the, the consistency of the old fashioned. I like to keep it kind of like more of a, of a neat form. Uh, so, oh, you, you know what, I make, I'm gonna make two. So I'm gonna make two in here. So I'm, I'm doubling the recipe, but at home, you can just follow the recipe and it's the same amount. So we got our fig in there. We're gonna put a teaspoon of honey. The taste of honey. People are asking in the chat if you, if you can use guava instead. Yeah, guava. I was gonna ask oh, you. Oh man, yeah. Because it, it looks like guava. I was gonna say, is that guava? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I was gonna ask. Are you guys all undercover chefs here? Because yeah. it's the the aromas and the, yeah, the color. You got that beautiful pink, similar to guava, which I love guava. You, yeah. you, you're pulling at the strings of my heart. <laughs> Ding. Yeah. Uh, like a fret base. Uh, so yeah, you can use guava. This recipe, you can actually uh, change it. Guava is a good substitute. A peach, you can use peach with this. This is really good. Uh, but the fig is really, really nice. This is like a, a, a peak ingredient uh, seasonal. This is the last of the fig season, so this is good for that. We're gonna put a little bit of bitters. Where's my little bitters? A couple of dashes of that. I'm a bitter forward person. I like uh, the bitter flavors. I love my coffee black, um, and I love bitter, so I always tend to put a little extra dash into my drinks. Uh, if you don't like the bitters, just put one or you can go without it. But I think it does need a little bit of bitters in there. Let's put a little splash of water and just a splash. I know the ice kind of melts things, but the, the water and the honey is going to mix together and it becomes your simple syrup, right, when you make cocktails. So this is my uh, homemade simple syrup, just water and honey, right? Raystar says hello. Raystar23 on Instagram. Raystar23, what's up on Insta? What's up, my Insta peeps? What's up, what's up, what's up? And a bourbon. Let's do four ounces of rye. Rye bourbon. All right, all right, all right. All right. The Santoros say cheers. Cheers to the Santoros. Cheers. On YouTube? All right, cool. Cheers, cheers guys. And, and you know what I want to give a little shout out to? The homemade chefs. All the peace in the homemade chefs on Meetup. Uh, what's up? We have over 6,000 members on the Meetup group. 
and we do a lot of uh, cool events. We're going to start doing some in-person events, and we have a lot of our uh, as virtual classes as well on there. All right, so we got our bourbon in there, our rye, our water, our bitters, honey, and give this a little stir. Before I add the ice, I like to give this a pre-stir because I want to dilute and mix up the, the honey in there. Let me show you. Let me give you a little close-up here. Let me see. You see that? I just want to give you a little swirl action over there. All right, so just swirl that in there. I'm going to add some ice and really just mix this up. I love... Uh, I love stirring an uh, old fashioned. It's, it feels like such a lazy kind of thing. So mix that up there. Let me show you over here now. You don't want to muddle the, the fig. You want to just give it a nice stir. You're infusing, almost like steeping all those flavors in there together. Now, let's get ready to plate this up. Plate this up, look at this chef's out. What am I plating up? I'm making a cocktail, right? I'm not a bartender. <laughs> I am not a bartender. I'm a mixologist. Uh, I make cocktails, but I'm not a bartender. Uh, I'm a chef, which I can make anything, right? I can cook or I can drink yeah. it. But oh. you know what? You can still get me drunk. <laughs> we'll get you drunk, yeah. yeah. So for this, we're gonna use the fancy ice. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I, oh, the circle one. Yeah, you, you want a big piece of cube, you want a big piece of ice. You use this because you don't want it to melt. You know, this is a slow melting piece of ice. If you do tiny little pieces of ice, it's going to get so watered down so quick that it goes down too fast. Mm, so, so this drink, it has to, you have to drink it fancy. Yeah, so you can go to uh, Home Goods or one of these places and get a bunch of molds. I'm sure for Christmas, every guy's <laughs> gift is always an ice cube tray mold. Or, or buy the expensive refrigerator that does the... <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Or uh, I went to the store and, and they actually have, happened to sell them uh, pre-shaped pre and ready to go. So it's easier, less space. They sell it on Amazon that you could actually freeze it too. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can do this too. I, yeah. I have a couple of those. I have too many of those that I don't even use. So give it a final swirl. And then we're going to go into the glass. Where's my little strainer? Boom. Strain it up. And let's... Pour that right over the eyes. You get some pieces of that fig in there, so no figgity. No figgity. No, no doubt. diggity doubt. Yep, that's that's what I'm thinking. No figgity, no doubt. Let me give you a oh, that looks nice. Let me give you a little close up there. And then for garnish, I have some uh Fig. figs, figs oh. already sliced in there. Throw a little fig in there. You know what? Let me hang it from the edge of the drink. You know, when you're making a cocktail, you want to have a, a, a garnish that makes sense. You can eat it. It tells you what the heck the drink is. So it's like, you know, it's a calling card. So I have a question. Those, yeah. So figs, where, where do you, like, they don't really sell it at, at normal, like a Publix or a normal. You got to, like, go to, like, a... Uh, you'd be surprised. Actually, I think I got these at Publix. Yeah? Which is a okay. local, uh, semi-local in the southeastern part of the country. Uh, but Fresh Market has them. Um, or just try to go to like a like a grocery market, got uh, it. Like a like a farmers market type place. Got it. Okay. Yeah, fr Fresh Point. Yeah, <laughs> shameless plug for Fresh Point. So let me put this little garnish here. Let me put a little orange right there. So these are dehydrated oranges. If you, if you just uh, don't have these, you just get a real orange, peel it, and rub the skin on the glass. Always when you're doing that, like I did that with the last drink, you want to rub the oils of the skin right onto the glass. Not the, the flesh, you want to rub the skin because the skin is full of oils and you're going to impart that oil almost like a perfume that you're rimming it here. And then when you taste it, you can taste all that. All right, so let's put that in there. And here we go, an old fashioned. And this one I made for my friend uh, Joe, who I want to bring on the center stage. On the main stage, <laughs> Joey Butterfuko here. What's up, Joe? What's up, buddy? Good to homie? see you. Good to see you. Hi, everybody. I made you a cocktail. Thank you very much. Look forward to trying it. How you been, my friend? Cheers. Very good. Very good. So what do you taste? 
So I taste the, to be honest with you, the bitters are very forward for me. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I like the, the definitely the use of the bitters, and then I get a little bit of the fig and the bourbon on the back end. Very smooth. Yeah. I, I, for this one in particular, I didn't use uh, bourbon because I was worried that the honey is a little too sweet, and I didn't want it to battle with the sweetness of the bourbon. You get a lot more corn uh, from, from bourbon. So the rye has a little bit of that bitter, kind of like a softer approach than, than bourbon. Okay. All right, so. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. You got a song request? Um, not that I can we think have, of at the moment. We got some song requests in the chat, I think. I'm going to request you to do a dance uh, later on. <laughs> Maybe later. I'm yeah, yeah. Fin finish, finish that first. cocktail and I'll bring you back in. All right, so we have some requests. What do you have? Nina Sky, move your body. Boom. Should we do one more shot? Any any special requests? They're telling me no over here. Mario Mario's in doubt. We're gonna go to music and we'll come back. Hold that thought. If anybody wants to take a shot, put it in the chat. Let me see. We're gonna weigh this out. We're gonna weigh this out. Let's go.
Infinity, <laughs> you know the roof on fire. We go boogie, oogie, oogie, jiggle, wiggle, and dance <laughs> like the roof on fire. We go drink drinks and take shots until we fall out <laughs> like the roof on fire. Now, baby, get my booty naked, take off all your clothes and light the roof on fire. Tell her, tell her, baby, 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 baby,
Freestyle, baby. There you go. There you go. I had to go. That's, throw, that's on Throwback I Miami know, right? stuff right there. Good stuff. Good stuff, homie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. It. We're wrapping things up, guys. Dude, the chat's been blasting. We have a bunch of song requests. A lot of shout outs. Much love to all you guys. If you're new to the channel, I just want to welcome you again. We do this once a month. This is just a hangout with all our subscribers. This is really, that's what it is. It's a hangout. We're making two cocktails. Hopefully, you get two new cocktail rep. Uh, uh, recipes for your repertoire. Uh, Edwin, what's up? Edwin saying hello. What's up, Edwin? Edwin's been um, killing it on the chat over there. We got your song because we're gonna do. If you don't know, now you know. We do an after party after this, so we're gonna keep the li the chat going on. Once I close out, we're not closed. We're gonna keep it open for I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. If you guys are active in the chat and 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 and, and jamming with DJ Rio. Uh, Mario's gonna hit you up with any song requests as, as, as long as, as well as all the other Latin mixes that we got going on as well. Uh, but this is a good chance to remind you guys again, if you're not part of the, the, the channel, subscribe. Subscribe, hit the bell, like, all that stuff. It's amazing for me so I can keep doing this for us and, and we can keep having fun and, and cooking, up, uh, cooking up a storm. Uh, next week I'm gonna do a live cooking class. I don't know when, the time or date. But one, once uh, once I post it out, you'll get the alert and you'll know when. Uh, any other things? That we have? Follow me on Instagram. If you're not if, if you're not following me on Instagram, at Chef Sazone, That's me. You can follow the company as well, Sazone. So Sazone at Chef Sazone. We'll put that on the chat as well, so you guys can click, clink, like, clink, clink, bells, subscribe, all the stuff. What's up? Uh, on Facebook as well, but IG or on TikTok as well, but. Forget Facebook. Facebook is for the older people. All right, so Instagram, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. And I have a, a, a go on the website as well. We have a repertoire full of recipes, uh, so we can check that out as well. I did promise a shot. I don't know. Are we doing the shot? What do people say in the chat? Chat, shot, shot. Shot, 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 shot. Let's do a shot. We're going to do a shot, and I think we're going to sign off after this. Uh, we have our recipes on... Well, we're not signing up. Stick around. We're gonna, we're gonna enter the after party. <laughs> and Boogie, thank you, DJ sir. Rio, a man known by many names, by a lot of names. A lot of names. I can't say all the names. Yeah, yet. you can't tell all the names. No. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's know. been great. I've been loving. It. I, I thank you for putting my sopa de caracol in there. I've been. Uh, I have to put the sopa de caracol for all the last. I have too many requests, so I, I stay away from the <laughs> request line because. It's like a karaoke bar. I'm like, I want to start singing. Yeah, and then we get you. crazy. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, again, we we'll hope to see you next time. We do this once a month. Uh, we, we expect to do this again in November. Uh, Halloween season is coming, so I'm going to get, you know, some Michael Jackson in there with Thriller and, and, and you know. We, oh, we yeah, might, we got the Halloween one coming. Yeah, up. Halloween theme. So I, I want to make sure you guys, you know, uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, again, it's me. DJ uh, Mario, 
Um, follow me on LinkedIn and chat with me also. We will drop my IG on the chat. And, um, and we're going to put all that in the chat. Yeah, 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 we'll put all that in the chat. So uh, I, I want you guys to have a great weekend. Be safe out there. And, um, you know, YOLO. You only live eight once. For the, eight for the next. What are, you, what, what are you dressing up for the next one? I don't we're know. We're getting to dress up for the next one, guys. I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, we're going to yeah. give you the exact date. Well, leave this as a, you got to see what I'm going to dress up. So you got to join us to see. We can't give you the, the scoop. So, but excited for Halloween. Hopefully you guys dress up with us too. All right, guys. Well, I want to, from, from the whole team here at Sassone Live, Cheers. here at Sassone Studios, Miguel, Mandy, uh, <clears throat> DJ Rio, and you're truly over here, your Serbian leader and chef. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here with me. You could be anywhere here in the world. We're here live together. Cheers. See you at the next one. You've been successful.